Hello artists! Today I'm going to show you how to simulate your environments using Houdini in a really really simple way. Let's go for it! So let's start creating a file node. Let's rename it to 3 and let's point our 3 geometry. Let's create a transform node and let's put it at 0.01 just for the Houdini scale. We don't want to simulate that massive and giant tree. So let's rename the nodes because remember, you always want to put names to your nodes. Cool. Also remember to put nodes just to organize better your scenes. Cool. So now let's create a split node. So in one side, we're gonna have the branches and in the other side, we're gonna have the leaves. So let's put names again. I'm lazy as fuck, so I'm gonna copy this name and paste it here. Cool. Let's duplicate it and let's connect this into the second output. Cool. So in one hand, the branches, and in the other hand, we have the leaves. Cool. Let's create a measure just to start like creating the group. Uh, we're gonna call small branches GRP because now with the measure, we're gonna be able to select the small ones. So we don't have to do it by hand. So if you don't like the measure, you can create the color and check out. It's the group that you have created in the measure. And also remember that in the measure, we're gonna play with the width. Uh, I encourage you to tweak different values in this node because it's super powerful. So here's the RAM color, just to check it out. So that's, yeah, depends on you. Cool. Let's continue. And let's keep working in another split because now we're going to separate this group, the small branches from the big branches. So of course, let's create more nodes. Let's put always the out. Good. And let's connect it to the second output of the split. There you go. So now let's create, let's put a color just to put it everything black. And also let's create a merge just to merge the small branches that we're gonna simulate and the leaf that we're gonna simulate too. So after this, remember, let's put some nodes. Good. So what's with this? Let's create the scatter. So we're gonna scatter points into those geometries. Let's leave it by default and let's create a connect adjacent pieces. Let's switch to points and let's tweak a slightly bit the values to something like that. There you go. So once with this, let's put a black color to all of these connections. And also I'm gonna switch this color to a red one. Because now what we're gonna do, we're gonna transfer those attributes to make the pink groups. So let's create the attribute transfer and let's connect the first input to the connect adjacent pieces. And then we're gonna transfer into the points, the attribute color diffuse. Let's tweak these values a slightly bit. We just want a slightly bit of red because we're gonna create now a group create, yes. And we're gonna use the color, so add cd.r. If it's bigger than 0.1, just create a group. And remember to switch always the group type to points. There you go. So let's switch name to pin grp and let's put $OS because now it's gonna be the same name as the node. Let's create this beautiful null at the end. And now we're gonna start thinking about the vellum. So let's create a vellum hair. Make sure to change the constraint type to hair. And let's set uniform the mass and the thickness. We can visualize the thickness and this is kind of working. So let's move on. So I'm gonna let most of the values as default. Maybe this we can put it to thousand. And let's create the vellum constraints because we're gonna use the pin to target constraint. Cool. So let's switch the group type to points and let's put points because remember, we, we create a pin group points. So cool. And let's switch the pin type to soft and the orientation pin type to soft also. This is gonna allow the constraint to move a slightly bit. And let's create the vellum solver. So let's leave it by default or maybe just increase a slightly bit the substeps to five. One eternity later. Cool, so anything is splitting, so good job. Let's create a pop wind in order to generate this wind force. We can hit the guide and let's start tweaking the amplitude, the sweater size scale in order to get something cool. 
and we can add more direction to our wind, something like this. You can create like a soft wind or like a Hurricane Katrina wind. So that's that's on you. Let's reduce it like this. Okay, something like that. And let's hit play. Let's see what we have. Two days later. Cool. So let's dive inside again and let's create two different kind of noises. So then with the switch, we can switch between a hard noise like a Hurricane Katrina or maybe something softer. Let's increase this a lot just to see what we have. Yeah, this looks like harder, definitely. Okay. And remember that we have to tweak with our values. As you can see, if we decrease the bend stiffness, our tree is gonna be like more weak, something like that. So yeah, that depends on you and in your scene. Look the differences. Okay, let me switch to something softer. Good. Maybe let's tweak a slightly bit the direction. Yeah, something like that. Now for this example, we want just a slightly movement for our tree. Yeah, and also what we can do is to decrease a slightly bit the time scale. So now everything is gonna be like in a bigger scale, you know? So it's like a bigger tree, like a, like a sequoia. So let's create an attribute delete because if we check our geometry spreadsheet, we will see that the Vellum Solver creates a massive amount of useless attributes for us, you know? So let's keep the position, UV, maybe the velocity, the orient. Maybe we're not gonna use it, but I like to keep it. So let's put in start to delete the rest. And this is gonna save you space on your disk once we do the cache. So let's connect the third input the big branches that they are not simulated but maybe we can use it as a collider just in case to make it everything more clear or clean yeah something like that we can check that this is working so cool so let me get rid of the velocity because we're going to compute it now with a trail node so let's create it and let's put it in compute velocity so now everything is more clean and we're going to use it at the end for sure. So let's create a time shift and let's freeze the first frame by just putting F start. Cool. So now let's create the point deform. So let's plug the first input into the geometry we want to deform. In this case is this, the leaves and the branches. And for the second input, we just need the lattice points static and the third input, the deformed points. So now we can tweak a slightly bit these values. Let's put 30 and 500. And let's hit play. Let's see what we have. Cool. So the point of form is working. Also, you can maybe move it slightly a bit more for this example. But yeah, this is like artistic side. So cool. Everything is working. Let's create a few colors just for visualization purposes. Maybe you want to do a daily for your supervisor or your lead. Remember that we want clean stuff and beautiful. So of course, let's put green for the leaf and maybe orange for the small branches. So cool, now we can visualize much better what we are getting. Of course, this is moving like maybe too much, but it's your choice. So now let's create a merge and let's merge it, the big branches. Let's delete the color diffuse and let's add a new color diffuse. Let's create a file node and let's cache this bloody tree simulation in our disk. Early the next morning. Much, much later. Congratulations, this is looking really nice. So now we can move on to put textures, right? Let's create a material. And then in the future, we're gonna add the material here. So let's put the null and let's end this book. So this is our setup for the three simulations. Now we can just, I will not explain that. I'm just gonna put just a speed art of how I'm just creating the base till the moment that I'm gonna start simulating the falling leaf. So now enjoy this moment.
In the render tab, remember to go to sampling and change the velocity blur if you want to have velocity blur in your renders. Let's hit control and let's create this environment light and let's put our HDRI map. Let's create a new geometry node and let's say something like leave the breeze. We're gonna do the leave falling. So let's create an object merge to import our tree simulation and hit into this object. Cool, this is our simulation. And now let's create the blast just to keep the branches. So let's create an attribute delete just to get rid of the UVs and well, we can keep the color. So let's create a group node. Let's put it in primitive and let's change this to $OS and let's say, okay, this is gonna be the base GRP. And then let's hit the enable keeping bonding boxes. So cool, in this way we can create a blast and now we just isolate those parts that we're gonna use to emit our up network. If you get this error, just uncheck the display sprites and it's gonna be solved. So cool. Now let's can dive inside our pop network and let's tweak those parameters a slightly bit. Let's add the, this simulation to our initial velocity and let's see what we have. Okay, we have something cool. Let's put the gravity force just to simulate this gravity force, but let's put it at minus one and let's tweak about the velocity because we want less. Let's add our static solvers. So this is gonna be the base that we just created before. And let's gonna hit the out base. Cool, that's why it's important to put nulls and this kind of stuff in your scenes. So now our particles are colliding with our base, which is cool. So let's create a trail just to compute this velocity and let's get rid of everything. We just want the point simulation. We, we don't want the, the base. Let's create a normal node to compute the normal for each point and then let's say in this wrangle that the normals equals the velocity of the point. So cool. Let's work on the debris, the leaves that are falling. Let's create a creep and let's put it like really small, like a, something like quite close to a rectangle. And let's with the transform, I'm gonna just make it smaller. Cool. Let's project some UVs. It's kind of easy and let's put the material. I'm gonna put like a really shitty material, but this is gonna work. Let's create a copy to points and let's copy those grids into those points. Let's hit play and voila. This is our leaf debris simulation. We can make this simulation cooler if we simulate a vellum over to those grids. So let me get rid of some attributes. I'm gonna keep the material and I'm gonna create a time shift just to put a frame 70, 72. Okay, this is gonna be enough debris, okay? Because I'm trying to optimize the scene. So let's keep the vellum cloth, remember? And maybe we can decrease these values. Okay, something like that. And now we just can create our vellum solver just to compute this vellum simulation. Let's decrease the gravity. Cool. And let's dive inside and let's create what we have done before, a pop wind, just to generate this wind force. Good, 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 good. That's cool. So now as you can see, we are bending those grids and it looks like more, now it looks like a confetti, I know, sorry, but in the render time, it's gonna be like leaves. Before caching, let's delete some attributes that we don't want. Maybe we can keep those, but the rest we can delete it. Yeah, sweet. This is looking so cool. Of course we have the ground in our vellum solver. We can get rid of this. It was just to test. Or we can put like a fake ground, like I did it here. So I'm gonna put like a speed art again, just to, because you don't want to, sh to, to see me like creating this limitless geometry. It's very boring. So congratulations, here we have our three simulation in a bunch of nodes in a simple way. I just want to clarify that this setup, it's really useful and it's really powerful 
for background stuff and we can simulate trees, we can simulate plants, we can simulate whatever you want with this technique of the connect adjacent pieces. I also want to say thank you so much to XFrog for this beautiful tree that I downloaded. Don't forget to take a look at my webpage martom.com for more content or visit my Gumroad store or my CG Circuit page. See ya!